So here's a uh, common thing we hear from people all the time asking us how, uh, you know, you can test things, say you don't have a high dollar fleet meter or even a cheap Radio Shack one. Um, you know, this is pretty basic, pretty cheap. Um, how can you, I don't know how to use a multimeter, digital one or analog one. Uh, they serve their purpose, um, but how can we test and see how uh, certain things are wrong? So we got this little thing that we use. Um, hooks up, it's just basic continuity tester, and uh, from time to time, you know, you just hook it up to a ground on the board, and, you know, for checking fuses, this is a... Uh, pretty easy thing that we do um, we'll take this one-handed stick it to the actual part doesn't work but hook it up to another and there the light turns on so this would tell you uh, you know one of two things um, a tells you that the part is actually working B it tells you if you have power traveling across the board. Power has to travel from here, you know, has to go through all these channels, then come through these two uh, transformers to here, then come to here, and come over this way, and come up, come down, come all the way over here. So, if your board's not turning on, pretty good way to see if power's traveling across. Just do it simply like that. Hit the chip, and the power turns on. The light. That's from all the way over here, across like this, coming down. But, moreover, it tells us whether our fuses are bad in a very simple and easy way. So we're checking to see if our fuses are uh, not working, and both sides do not light the light up, that means there's a break, that means that fuse is bad. That's yet another way that we test and see how things are working and we do diagnostics on your machine when it comes in to be worked on.